Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And this screencast is all about encrypting files. I got an email uh, the last week and um, it basically contained a question on how to encrypt files or how to save files so when I want to open those files I need to enter a password first to view those files. So there are basically two methods that I want to explain to you which are in a way similar but the one is a little bit a weaker process, a weaker um, method to do this, an easier method for some people if you want to share files for example that are a little bit encrypted and one way which is a little bit more protective and a little bit more for those guys of you who have a little bit paranoia and want to save their important data and encrypt them very very well. So first of all let's uh, go with the simple method and this method simply contains of an archive. We will create a zip archive with a password and we'll just simply put a file in there and if you want to view the file you need to enter the password. So what you can do on the Lubuntu is just go to the menu, Accessories and open up XArchiver, the default uh, archiving tool on the Lubuntu. You can create a new archive. The only thing that you have to do is make sure that your archive type is zip, otherwise you won't have the option to set a password for the files. Then just create a file, for example I will create a file on my desktop call it safe.zip hit create and now I can just simply add a file or more files by clicking here on add and yeah I will just simply go to my downloads directory I have here my little uh, application that I programmed and I don't want anybody to see it uh, the source code so I just simply mark this file go to options here and under encryption I can just simply enable the password and just simply type in a password here. I can set the compression rate if you if I want to. Let me uh, go to the best compression here. Click on add and now you can see that my file uh, has been added and you can see a save.zip file on the desktop. So let me close this archiver, let me double click the uh, save.zip file and th this of course is equivalent if you want to just simply uh, share this uh, zip file with your friends over email or something and you want only your friend which has the password or you somehow delivered it securely to him to open up the zip file. So let me guess now or le let me uh, just simply open up the zip file. Let, let's pretend we are your friend now and want to open the zip file. Uh, with a simple double click it will just simply uh, give you an arrow. And This is of course anybody who does not have the password will get an arrow and he cannot simply extract uh, this file. Uh, you have then the option if you have the password go to action enter password then simply enter the password here. Hit OK and then just double click and you will see it will open up and you can see the contents of this file. This of course works not only for text files, this also works for folders and images and music and video and all the different files that you might have on your file system. So this is the basic simple and easy way to um, somehow save your files, within, protect your files within password uh, right within an XR uh, X archive uh, type, but it's a zip file and you know there are a lot of password crackers and, and zip password crackers out in the in the web, so it might be for some important data um, be very good to encrypt those files a little bit better using a real encryption tool, like for example GPG. So just simply close this here, delete this file and we will go to our home directory again uh, go to the downloads directory and here you have, you can see my file here and I want to encrypt this file. So what I basically can do is just simply open up uh, first of all the terminal window 
let me just put this aside so you can see what are what files are created when I'm executing the command here. So what we need is basically the gpg command. It should be right within your uh, Lubuntu install. At least in my Lubuntu 10.10 .10 install, uh, gpg is already installed. So what you can do to encrypt a file in within uh, or from the terminal with the gpg command is just first of all type in gpg, then the option minus c for encrypt, and then the file name in this case rec ffmpeg minus tray.pi then simply enter, hit enter, and then you need to enter in passphrase. Um, don't be irritated, there won't be any stars in here because it's in, uh, it's in somehow hidden password that you enter here. Just like uh, entering a password when, when you're trying to log in from, uh, from within the terminal. So you need to repeat the passphrase, make sure that you don't misspell it. Hit enter again, and now you can see that it created a new file, the encrypted file called recffmpeg-tray.pi.gpg. And this encrypted file is basically uh, a little bit um, smaller than the uh, normal file because this uh, GPG session normally also, when you don't uh, give any uh, other option here, will also zip the file uh, to compress it, basically. So this works just like in zip compression, um, but you won't see it here right now because it's only uh, telling you that's an encrypted GPG file. So what Lubuntu now has is for this uh, GPG files a very convenient tool, I guess, uh, is it automatically detects those GPG files and with a double click it will ask you for uh, the password of this GPG file and then it will encrypt the file uh, to the same folder. So let's pretend that we deleted the original file here, have uh, now only the gpg file and we want to decrypt this file or send it to our friend again and he want to decrypt, uh, decrypt this, it, he has the password and so on. So he can do this by simply double clicking, entering the passphrase here and then the file got decrypted and you can then just simply view the file here and make some changes if you want to. So this is basically this. But what if you have a text file and, for example, a, a message or something from your friend and uh, this is very handy and very convenient also for mails uh, and you don't want to create the file here because uh, you might forca f uh, f forget deleting it um, afterwards or something like this. You only want to read the message and then uh, don't decrypt it. Don't decrypt the file, basically. Only decrypt it once for reading the message and that's all. So what you can do there is just simply... Um, let's create a new file here, a blank file, to show you this a little bit more, a little bit better here. So let's call it test.txt open it up with leafpad and typing in uh, this is a secret message only for you uh, save this file and then we want to encrypt the file again gpg minus c test dot text and a passphrase here and add again and now we have an encrypted test text file. So what if you want to send it now to your friend and your friend only want wants to read this file? So what you need to do is go to the terminal, typing gpg-d for decrypting, then the file name, or the path to the file name, then hit enter. You need to He needs to enter the password, the passphrase again, and you can see that it printed out automatically the message which is contained in the file, basically. And with this method you also have, of course, the possibility, if you don't want to use the graphical way to decrypt the file, you can also pipe uh, the output of this file, of course, to a new file, like for example, task.txt. 
txt. And this will just simply create this test txt file with the contents of the encrypted application or program or text file or video or whatever you have encrypted. So this is one very convenient way, but if you can see here, if you if you decrypt the file, you can see that it is printing also uh, which um, encryption method uh, was used. Uh, the standard or the de default one is the cast5. It's a pretty good one, but you can choose others. And to choose other th others, you need first of all to list uh, all the encryption methods that GPG supports by simply um, typing in GPG minus minus version. This will print out um, all the ciphers. Uh, these are the encryption methods, how they're called also, ciphers. Uh, there you can see cast5, 3DS, blowfish. Blowfish is usually uh, used for encrypting the passwords on your uh, user um, so a user account passwords then you have IES IES 192 IES 260 uh, 256 two fish um, and some other here you can see so let me just simply encrypt um, let me first decrypt this file and encrypt this again with uh, AES256 by simply first of all reading the man page of GPG man GPG they can see the sim the options of the GPG and there you can also see that there is uh, the option to change the uh, encryption method let me search for it uh, cipher cipher algo so this is the option that you need so let me get out of this man page here so what you need to do is just gpg then minus cipher algo you will use the two a AES 256 algorithm then minus C then the file name test txt and then we need to enter passphrase repeat it again and now we have encrypted the file with uh, an AES uh, 265 and can see this by simply decrypting the file. You can see AES 265 encrypted data. So this works very, very good. So basically this is encryption under Lubuntu 10.10. .10. I hope you enjoyed this screencast and I uh, hope you find this useful. And thanks for watching and until the next time.